Welcome back. I'm Alfred Lambert Weber, and I'm very happy to be with Magnus Olsen, who's the executive director of the European Coalition Against Covert Harassment, ucatch.org. Welcome, Magnus. Thank you, Alfred. Now, you uh, quite recently, on the 16th of November, 2013, were the subject of a second assassination attempt by remote suffocation. This one just after you had met with the World Organization Against Torture in Geneva. Could you tell us about that assassination attempt and how you survived? Yes, um, we had the meeting the 16th with the World Organization Against Torture and the day after we had an interview, uh, a radio interview, and um, that night when we arrived with the, the team, the AOCAST team, the coalition, um, I uh, suddenly couldn't breathe at all. Uh, the, the autonom function was disabled, so, so I, I just stopped breathing. And and um, the, the 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 team the the coalition uh, uh, was uh, performing a CPR on me until the ambulance arrived, and that was around thirty minutes, and I I did not breathe anything at all by myself. They did the CPR and. Uh, when, when the ambulance arrived, they took me to a hospital in France and um, I was uh, there for one night and when I woke up, because I, I became unconscious uh, uh, while, this, while this happened uh, in an early stage, so uh, I do not have any memory from, from what happened after, after that. Yes, and, and when the attack first happened, were you alone? Were you sitting with, with people or what? Yeah, we, we were the whole team, the AirCast team. So we were uh, four, four people, and my mother was there too. And she, she is uh, 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 very, uh, uh, she, she knows a lot about uh, me medicine. She's a nurse. So she, she, she could start the CPR immediately. Now, you, um, you suffered another assassination attempt by remote suffocation on October 29th. What do you think is the mechanism of this? How, how are these done? By what mechanism? Well... Uh, when you, when you have an online brain, but when you are connected to the supercomputer, th they can by pinpointing over stimuli uh, evoke uh, different potentials, and and uh, uh, whatever they do wish. Uh, for example, uh, 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 change uh, the 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 way. The autonomous system is working. So, <clears throat> so they, at the first attempt, murder attempt, they they switched off my breathing, and I woke up in the sleep, from sleep, and and then I I could uh, by myself walk to to the to the bathroom and and see that I was blue in the face and so on, but. But that was a different uh, attempt uh, in a different way because this this time the 16th it, it was much more severe. Uh, they really switched off uh, and and made me unconscious immediately. So this was much more. Uh, it was much harder. And 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 w w when they when the supercomputer uh, when you have the online function, uh, um, both both it's it's a bo two way communication, and and when you do have the ability to even by the by the overstimuli to 
to evoke these different kind of happenings. For example, the, the remote suffocation thing. Uh, there is a lot, lot of victim, a lot of TIs that have been experiencing this uh, that I, I didn't know before. But when this happened to me and we went out with, with the last interview, Alfred, uh, uh, there was a lot of people writing to me and uh, telling that they had uh, experienced just the same. Yeah, there was an American uh, activist who in fact was assassinated, was murdered about a year ago in September of 2012 uh, with a remote heart attack. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, his name was Sean Steen, and uh, this is a very sad uh, fact. But he went to Sweden. He lived in Chicago, and he he came to Sweden visit me to visit me and make a, leave a testimony at uh, YTV, uh, uh, Henning Witters uh, uh, Television, uh, online television. So he, he, he left the testimony and so on, then he went back to Chicago and a couple of weeks after that, uh, th three months, yes, after that, uh, he, he died. Uh, and, and there is no actual uh, 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 description of how he, he died, but uh, it seems that uh, it could, could have been the same thing, about the same thing that they are trying to do with me. Now, you, you had mentioned that sometime during the attack, uh, the perpetrators started talking with you telepathically and threatening you. What did they say? They said to me, Magnus, if you succeed with, with, with your work once more, uh, uh, we, we will kill you. And, and yeah. No, no, go, go ahead. Yeah, and, and but but this is something that they have used in in, in the communication, and then they they used to mock execute me uh, uh, in, in in the first three years. Uh, they tried to to scare me re really bad. So uh, it, it's it's hard to say, but but you get used to this kind of three three treatment. Now, what is some of the work that you were doing? For example, your meeting at the World Organization Against Torture. What are some of the subject matters that you're dealing with that they feel so threatened? Well, we we are on the on on the brink to to uh, disclose uh, the the worst crime ever committed and uh, in 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 Europe. And, and even around the world, this is happening, and uh, we we are uh, doing this in in a lot of different ways. For example, we have just passed uh, legislation uh, 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 to to the the Libe committee in in the parliament, and uh, the, I mean the, this is the the human rights committee in the European Parliament, correct? Yes, that's correct. Right, and that's a European Commission regulation to ban all of these electronic weapons of torture, including harp and chemtrails, in the European Union. Yes. Right. What, so that, that was one of the main subject matters at, at your meeting. Yes, it was, uh, uh, but but uh, as a lot of people are uh, stripped of all of their rights uh, and and being tortured so severe that that you do not want to continue your life, and and the people are committing suicide around uh, all over the world uh, because they can't handle this this uh, this crazy way of of treating. Humans. I mean, nobody wants to live like an open book, and and you do not have one little small secret, uh, and and they they are playing with your life as it was a, a, a game almost, 
And today it's very hard to, to prove what is going on, but there is ways and we are finding them one by one here. So uh, I'm sure that we will disclose this uh, completely and this has to be regulated and stopped. Yes. Now, how, how can people keep in touch with your work and how can people support your work at UCATCH? Well, uh, on, on, the, uh, on, on the website, eucatch.org, uh, you can become a member and uh, you can just instead of uh, on the targeting description, you can write that you just want to be a member to support our work. That, that that's that's uh, b very good for us to get uh, support uh, in our fight. Uh, yes, and and, and th there there is a couple of websites that are run in in these subjects too. Excellent. We will we will list them at the at the end of the video. Yes. So you're talking about your plans for the future. Yes, um, I was interviewed by Russia Today, Daniel Estulin, and th that, that documentary about uh, mind control is, is a very good one, and it, it, it's something that I recommend uh, all, all the viewers to, to, to have a look at. It's just half an hour, and it's actually uh, disclosing what, what is possible by this technology today. Uh, w w what we are carrying out right now in, in, the, in the parliament and the commission and so on uh, it is a kind of uh, 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 work together with, with, uh, with, uh, with the support of, of Russia today as, as one of the supporters. And uh, because they do want to disclose this too, because uh, they, they, after the show that was aired, that I was interviewed, uh, they, they, they got 20,000 emails from people around the world. And, and there was just 11 million viewers on, on when it was aired. So, so we will continue uh, uh, with our cooperation. Thank you. Are there any final words that, that you'd like to leave our viewers with? Yes. Um, uh, please do support us because this is about our future and uh, we do not want our children to be electronic slaves. Thank you. Thank you, Magnus, Thank for, for being with us and we look forward to being with you in the future as, as your work develops. Thank you very much, Alfred.